Today we're going to talk about breathing. Good breathing for good singing. Now some singing teachers would say that you don't really need to spend much time on breathing because if you sing well, your breathing is going to support that good singing. But many students have come into my studio complaining about not really knowing how to breathe well. So let's talk about it. First, let's talk about standing. If you happen to be in a wheelchair, that's fine too. You can do some upper body work with us. So standing well is really three issues. Shoulders being broad, chest being proud, and chin being level to the floor. So you don't want your chin tilted back or tilted down. You don't want your shoulders in this weight of the world look, nor are they pulled back in this military look. You feel as though you've got strings attached to your shoulders and they're going out. Keeping you nice and upright like this and your chest is proud, you're feeling good. You've breathed in a beautiful garden of flowers. And you could also think about having a string attached to the top of your head and to the ceiling. So it keeps your head floating beautifully on your neck. And there we go. Total transformation for some people when you ask them to put their shoulders sideways like this and their chest proud and their chin like this, they look confident, they look self-assured. That's good standing. Okay, now we're going to do a breathing exercise. And for that, I'd like you to find something in your house. It could be a scarf, like mine, or it could be a belt, or a piece of string even, or a cord. What you're going to do with it is put it around your rib cage like this, so it needs to be long enough so that you can hold the ends around your rib cage. So I'm going to wait for you right here. Please put me on pause and come back with something like this so that we can do a breathing exercise together. Pause me. Okay, welcome back. Here we go with a breathing exercise. So you're standing well. Shoulders are broad, chest is proud, your chin is level. You've got this little tool around you and you're gonna hold it a little bit snugly on your rib cage. And then we're gonna take a deep breath in. You can see when I breathe that my chest doesn't rise very much. I'm breathing as though in the middle of a big pickle barrel or the middle of a balloon. Breathe with me. You have this cord around you, this scarf around you, so that you can feel your rib cage leaning against it as you slowly let your breath out during this next breathing exercise. So just watch me for a moment. I'm going to take a deep breath and I'm going to exhale in a long held S. Just watch. So as you can see, I'm letting my breath out slowly as you would in singing, instead of allowing my rib cage to just collapse, as we do when we're just living normally or when we're talking, we have to control how the breath comes out. And this is a good way to practice that control and to build the muscles that are in the rib cage area so that you can support a very controlled expiration. So take a deep breath. You're holding that a little bit taut. Okay, breathe out on S. Here we go. Now for some of you, you're not going to take that long to breathe out. Others will have a long breath. The idea is to practice. Practice this once or twice a day, five minutes at a time, and see if you can improve how long you can keep your rib cage open. Always our rib cages are going to have to go in as our lungs lose air. But over time, you'll find that you get a little stronger here and you have a longer breath. Just one more thing about breathing. Some teachers say that it's really good to do it like this, to take your breath like this. As though you were going to say, oh, I was going to tell you something, and that that's enough breath to breathe in. Ideally, you do that without making a noise. And that's a great breath for singing. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.